is Matt Cruz and I'm reviewing case uh, 5540, 5540. So when you open a bone scan on this software, it will open with a single image and the contrast and windowing is such that you can't really see too much. So I'd recommend finding the save screens or the screen summary pages. You can look for the white background to find those and that will typically give you uh, a view of the anterior and posterior whole body images at two different window settings. These are the same images here and here, just windowed slightly differently. And if you scroll down to the next page, any spot views that they've done will appear here. One standard view is a lateral image of the skull. So in this patient, uh, there's a history of prostate cancer and they're looking for bone metastases. This technetium MDP radio tracer is basically taken up at sites of bone turnover. Because prostate is an osteoblastic process when it metastasizes to the bone, those foci would typically be hot or intense on a bone scan. So in this case, we do see multiple abnormal foci of intense radio tracer uptake here in the lower cervical spine, posteriorly, mid thoracic spine lower thoracic spine, several in the lumbar spine, this is approximately L2 and L4, and then if you look closely at the sacral iliac joints here, some, some uptake is normal, but they should be symmetric, so I see additional focus here in the left sacral iliac region. An additional abnormal focus is noted in the left humeral head here, which we see on the patient's left, you know, this is the anterior view and the posterior view. Now you can have bone turnover related to degenerative disease and that accounts for some of these other foci at the acromioclavicular joints, sternoclavicular joints, um, near the patella at the knee joints, those are all likely degenerative. And this tracer is also excreted in the urine, so it's normal to see some activity in the renal collecting systems and in the bladder. This patient actually has an indwelling catheter, so that's this linear intense activity here in the catheter tubing. So in summary, this patient has multiple osseous metastases, predominantly in the spine, but also in the left sacroiliac region and left humeral head. That's it. Thanks.